Hello class, welcome to today's lesson. In our today's lesson, we will be focusing on the topic locus of a given point. At the end of this lesson, we will understand the meaning of the word locus. We're also going to learn fundamental theories of locus as well as solve simple locus related problems. So sit tight, your pen, with your paper, and let's learn what is a locus. It is a set of all points whose coordinates satisfy a given condition. What this statement means is when an object moves according to some given condition, the path along which it moves is called a locus. Okay, so the plural form of a locus is called a loci. For example, let's say a vehicle travels from Medugri to Abuja to Lagos and back to Medugri. The path through which it navigates and moves is called the locus. Okay, for example, on your birthday, your dad bought a nice bicycle for you. And on your way to school, you decide to ride the bicycle. You move on. You move left, right, left, right. You keep moving until you get to school. The path through which you navigate with your bicycle from the house to school is called the locus. Okay, so for you to solve locus related problems, you need to abide to rules. There are conditions you need to follow. And there are five fundamental conditions. Some might call it theories, some might call it rules. But for the purpose of this lesson, we are going to call it theory. So the first theory of locus states that the locus of point at a fixed distance d from the point p is a circle with a given point p as its center and g as the radius. So what this theory is saying generally is that when you are given a fixed point that is not moving is stationary, any point around it will form a circle. For example, we have a stop clock at home. You notice that the handle is always moving. It keeps moving, it doesn't stop, it moves, it doesn't stop like that, it keeps moving, keep moving. Now, a sketch of our stop clock gives us circle D. You notice that the fixed point is P. Okay? And the distance between P and the edge of the pointer is D. So, locus of point equidistant from point P will form circle with center P. Alright? So, let's solve some problems, examples on locus that are related to theory 1. We have example 1 which says that construct the locus of point X at a constant distance of 2 cm from fixed point Y. The second example, we are going to draw the locus of a point not further than 5 cm from point A. Alright? So, materials we need generally are 1. We need a pair of compasses and our pencil. And we need to ensure that the pencil is well fitted on the compass, okay? And we need a ruler. So we extend our pencil two centimeters, okay? Then we place the metallic edge of the compass on our paper. That becomes our fixed point. Then we move the pencil round as it forms a circle, all right? So solution to example one gives us y as the fixed point and x as the locus that moves round with equal distance of what two centimeters around y okay example two the same thing the difference is that we have an equal distance of five centimeters a fixed point of m and locuses of what k that is the distance between m and the circle which is k is what five centimeters all right at this point, we are able to understand the meaning of the word locus of a given point, and we understand the first theory of locus. We can also construct simple locus related problems that are related to theory one. We can as well tell us, test our understanding to see if we really understand what we have been learning so far. So draw the locus of a point not further than 8 centimeters from point B, and also construct the locus of a point 
Q as a constant distance of 10 cm from a fixed point T. On our next lesson, we are going to focus on a second theory of locus. So, sit tight on this channel for upload on our lesson on locus. Thank you very much and bye.